So um, this is a short video I'm making about this instrument. It um, seems to be one of these uniquely British instruments. They don't crop up anywhere else as far as I can tell. Um, so this one says it's by the Neapolitan Patent Mandolin Company. Uh, but that's not the only name they use. They also use Viennese College of Music and Neapolitan College of Music and various other names which all seem to be entirely fictitious. And um, but the instruments are all the same. They're this sort of uh, guitar-shaped uh, mandolinato, I think they call it. Um, Dimeggio style pit guard on the front and then on the back you get the picture of the pretty lady. So um, this is one that I've restored back to proper playing condition. Um, so when I got this um, the only sort of visible sign of, of outside damage was a separation uh, with a back along here. But what's actually happened is over time the back has sh shrunk and uh, it, it actually pulled the sides in so the braces had popped off the back and they'd also poked out through the sides because the, the sides had been pulled in. And then because something had to give as the sides get pulled in here, it gets pushed out at the end, and so you get this split along here. And I've seen a few uh, come up on eBay in various places since then with the same sort of telltale split along the back here. So if you see that, you know it's it's not just a simple matter of just gluing it back down. You actually have to take the back off. Um, so so what's happened with this one? I've I've taken the back off. Braces have been glued back on again, obviously. Um, because the back had shrunk so I've had to put new wood in so there's a strip of new wood all the way down this side and there's also some new wood inside here where the uh, where the brace had actually poked out through the sides so um, it's not an absolutely invisible repair but it's quite hard to I don't know if you can see it on the webcam just work it out where the webcam is you can just about see the line where the new wood starts down there from the, uh, on the sides. Again, there's a there's a little bit there where I've had to insert new wood. So um, after that, the uh, the sides have been refinished. The back, obviously, to preserve the picture, has just been touched up, uh, and then. Uh, neck and headstock have had a, a, a new finish on as well because they were pretty pretty shabby and had it. Um, setup wise fingerboard's been re-leveled and uh, I've reused the original bar frets um, refreshed it but with the original frets if you see what I mean and then uh, there's this uh, string tension was missing so that's new and then there's a new bridge on there as well. I've got the original bridge, but I prefer the sound that this, this one gives, so uh, whatever. Um. So um, sound-wise, it's, it's interesting because it's sort of a halfway house between um, between the bowl back sound. You know, you've got that um, long sort of ringing sustain and what have you. Um, but it's not as trebly as the bowl back. You know, the bowl backs are very biased towards... Top end, whereas and, and tend to have quite a weak, weak D string, whereas this one's this one's fairly strong all over. So um, it's sort of halfway between a bowl back and, and a more modern uh, or contemporary flat back mandolin. Um, but I, I've had a lot. Of a lot of fun playing this one, it's quite nice. So let's try and demonstrate the sound. Um, fairly 
tubby sound, these what they call it, uh, as you'd expect from Noble Hole. off with playing a couple of tunes if I can manage. Mandolinetto. 